Sausage. Sausage. Why would you come back to the village? <laughs> <laughs> that uh baruto all right guys now in this episode the third episode man um usual antics man you know <sighs> baruto fucking diving in half cock and shit seemingly wasn't even concerned about motherfucking metal just in the way and throwing a big ass goddamn uh, shuriken at this motherfucker at the goddamn targets that were behind them and shit, but you know What do you expect? What do you expect? But anyways teach had him out there and Pretty much was trying to you know say that this is the exercise you can shuriken and shit and before he can even finish or ex Saying what he was gonna say and Even though he said look make sure that you know you, you're not throwing your shurikens when people are out here. You know, this could be dangerous. There's, they're throwing shit already. He gets the fuck out of there and shit. So, motherfuckers won't listen in the class. They were fucking throwing their shit half cocked. But, um, seems like, you know, they're pretty good at it. You know, me metal seems pretty good as well with shurikens as well. But this whole episode resides around him and ha his nervousness and stuff. And, you know, they kind of call him out on it, you know, like you've seen them, you know, kind of mess up when you're nervous and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I was even saying that during the reaction, I was like, you know, um, it's okay to be nervous. Everybody gets nervous in certain situations. It just is what it is. But you learn to cope with it. You learn to deal with it. And, you know, uh, you eventually overcome it. Um, you know, but the key is to understand that you are nervous but to you know kind of tone that out a little bit and see if um you can still do what you have to do uh he has not been able to do that yet you know but uh he'll he'll, he'll, he'll work on it he'll get better definitely uh should he have called him out on it maybe you know sometimes you do need to be kind of called out on things and um, acknowledge by other people of your certain faults or critiquing them and stuff in order for them to kind of wake up and uh, try to have the drive to improve on whatever it is you know that that, that that's just is what it is with, with pretty much anything anything that, that that's going on even with people that do music or you know actors that act you know you get critiqued and you work on what you're being critiqued of just happens but kids in general and we are dealing here with young kids they're he's gonna have they're all gonna have certain issues and they're gonna work through them they're gonna get better and they're gonna overcome those problems and uh we didn't really kind of see him overcome them in this episode but this episode was basically showing him a little bit a certain side of him and acknowledging that um other than that you know they uh were um, from their kind of shenanigans during the whole uh, training that they had at the, the academy, the teacher kind of pretty much told them, like, look, y'all, everybody's going to do kind of this volunteer work. And they started working on the big kind of, you know, Hakage face that was kind of destroyed, um, you know, par partially destroyed by Baruto earlier in that in a, in a series um, when the train fucking fell into it. And, you know, I even said afterwards, like, y'all shouldn't be having kids work on this shit to fucking get it right you know no you, you don't do that okay i don't care who the fuck they are you don't do that but um metal ended up you know because he was nervous and stuff and he ended up kind of messing it up a little bit more than it should and you know it is what it is but besides that um baruto was w wondering about uh um well I i'll say this first um metal seemingly got kind of this the same shit that uh we seen previously from uh the other dude uh you know baruto's you know new friend that was inspired to go to uh the ninja academy he had that kind of aura around him that purple shit that purple chakra kind of you know going around him and everything and he noticed it he was like y'all you guys don't see that but he could see it because he was using the Byakugan and shit. And he knew that there was, you know, issue there. You know, they helped Metal out of it because Metal was 
when that happened to him, it kind of brought up that, you know, that kind of anger that he had because he was called out of being, you know, nervous and all this stuff. But they helped him out through that and shit. Uh, had to run away from him for a while and everything. They didn't want to hurt him. They didn't really want to fight him. But, you know, they, they, they got through it. But that being said, going through that, um, when Baruto got home, we saw that he didn't really understand the Byakugan, you know? Um, and I thought he did uh, at this point, but it's understandable that he doesn't. Um, and he asks his, his, you know, he asks Hinata, uh, his mom, he's like, you know, the, the, you know, that eye, your eyes, you know, the, the Byakugan, you know, and, and then he was like, what's, you know, what's it capable of and stuff. And, you know, she pretty much told him, was like, well, you can see long distances, you can see through things, yada, 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 and stuff like that. You can see other people's chakras and shit. And that's when he was like, oh, well, you know, referring to that purple, you know, kind of aura around metal and stuff. He was like, oh, so was that chakra that I was seeing? So, you know, that uh that was something that he you know he found out there um now here's the thing man naruto comes home busy as shit we all know what naruto been through i'm not going through all that okay um and he's like oh he calls him you know he's like, oh she, she he's not even gonna eat the 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 food that mom uh prepared he called him fucking like s something old man or whatever like that and it's like, look, man, and I've been through this before, especially on that Baruto movie and shit like that. It's like, come on, come on. Like, it's like, I understand the aspect. I understand what they're trying to do with the character in a way, you know, in, but I don't want to see this character, Naruto, a, a, a character that we all kind of know and love okay that we have seen come from the bottom to the top reach his goal aspire and aspire his, and reach his dreams and shit and do everything that he's done and then have his son um look at him in this way i can understand for a period of time and they did that like progressively all throughout the fucking movie but i mean to carry it on through the show even after he kind of came to terms with it in a in a way in the movie and stuff it's like it's like come on now it's like you're like belittling this your dad first of all and secondly a character like i said we all know and love we like it's like i said i get it but at the same time it's like come on pretty soon i hope that this is not an element that is dragged on through this series i strongly hope that it's not. I don't want to see that happen. That's going to be very, very, very fucking irritating to me. And I can see that happening. I see it happening right before my eyes that he's going to grow up and he's still going to look at his dad fucking out of all people, Naruto, in this certain way. And... I understand that he's a kid. I like, like I said, I get it, but I just hope that he kind of wakes up and understands it, and understands the situation, and you know, in the magnitude of it all, sooner than later, you know, like. But hey, I guess you know maybe that's just me. I don't know, but it is a little bit irritating to me now. And if I watch this continuously over and over and over again, and it seems to be an ongoing theme this time, like almost basically every episode, even from the movie, you know that they were constantly pushing that shit in the movie. It's like okay, I'm done hearing it. Get this fucking character over it already. You know what I'm saying? Like make them understand. You know. I can even make my fucking niece and my nephew understand things that they're kind of tired of or irritated with or sick with as well. Make this motherfucker understand. You can make that happen. You know, it, it can be done, but I don't know. But all right, guys, I'm out of here. Um, there are, There's other things I could say about it and, and stuff because, you know, of course, there's going to be people that... Uh, are kind of you know understanding of how Baruto is saying but even though you understand it like I said you have to 
get the other side of it. It's like, it's not like he's not there. It's not like Naruto's not there. It's not like he's not being supportive. He is there. He is being supportive. He's doing something for the greater good. He's looking after not just his family, but an entire village and not even just a village but being supportive of the entire ninja world and shit like that such a pivotal 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 figure you know um i can understand having a little bit of um you know being upset about it but you don't have to be so outgoing with that with how you are with it you know um just one thing real quick a good example i would say is uh is blue exorcist you know it's like they're, they're brothers but they still care about each other they love each other you know what i'm saying they look out for each other they support each other he you know his uh his younger brother might be irritated with um, I'm, I'm forgetting their names, but you'd be able to get what I'm saying here. He he might be irritated with him because of certain things that 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 happened throughout their lives and who he is and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, you understand it, you get it, you deal with it, and you know, make it work. But they are older, so like I said, as you go through life, you do learn things, you do learn and stuff. So. It is what it is. I just hope that it's not this thing that kind of continues steadily throughout all these fucking episodes. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm done. Uh, leave your comments, guys. Let me know what you thought about the episode or what I'm saying here. Um, you know, definitely want to hear it. Uh, follow me, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. See my videos live. Peace out. Chia. What's poppin' my dudes? Make sure that you become a part of the Central Network. Subscribe to Anime Central 1 and Anime Central 2. Become a part of the gaming Twitch live streams on Play Central. And also become a part of React Central. And if you want me to react to a video on React Central that you like, make sure you fill out the React Central request form. You can find a link to that in the description, as well as a link to all the entire Central Network from Play Central to Anime Central 1 and 2, as well as my Patreon. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later.